Hey guys, welcome back to a new video. So there's a very different background behind me. You guys have never seen this. I'm in Montana right now. I'm here with my mom and I am going to be helping her kind of work on three different Airbnbs. So this house right here, we're gonna actually split it into two so that she can have like two different Airbnbs in here. But this house, I actually grew up in a little bit, not for a long time, just like a couple of years. But when I was like three to five, I lived in this house. And then my grandma actually lived here here like a majority of my childhood. So I have so many memories in this home. I remember like running from the kitchen into the living room and just like playing with my cousin. It was just so much fun. So I'm really excited to be here and help my mom. And I'm really excited to give this home just new life and let other people just enjoy memories in here too. So I'm gonna show you guys what we're gonna be doing like down here. This is like an older home and upstairs was converted into three different apartments, but we're gonna convert one of them into to an Airbnb and it's like a studio. It's like very awkward, very tiny. This video will be a lot of behind the scenes. We're gonna be looking at thrift stores. We're gonna be flipping furniture, doing some of the makeover kind of down here in this area. But the next video will be like a full on makeover of the little apartment upstairs. And fun little fact, that was actually the first apartment I ever lived in. Whenever I moved out, I moved right into that apartment and it was so tiny, but we're gonna just completely transform it just like we did to the last apartment up here. So let me go ahead and take you on a little house tour. I wanna hear you say it. Okay, so you first start out at the front door and then this is kind of your view when you walk in. Now straight up those stairs, you'll go up to the apartments, one of which we are going to be doing the full Airbnb makeover on. We might hopefully be getting different wallpaper in here. Off to the left is an entrance and this is going to be the second Airbnb down here. And this is kind of like the main entrance. This is going to be the first Airbnb. You walk right in and this is the living room. And the first thing is you just have this beautiful fireplace. It's like a brick fireplace. And then this beautiful wood mantle, it all needs to be cleaned and everything. But the other thing that I really love about this space is that there's just so many natural wood elements in here, just that beautiful old oak. She didn't change out the carpet or anything. So we are going to be dealing with the blue carpet, but I. I think we can really play into it and just make this a really cute area. My brother and my mom have been like thrifting and finding different things on Facebook Marketplace. Like they found this couch, just set this in here. They found a table, put it in here. And I don't know exactly if things are going to stay on this side or the other side, but we'll kind of just play it by ear. So then coming out of the living room, you actually will go into what is normally the dining room. And right here, this doorway, that's where it's going to be blocked off. So this will be one Airbnb and then the other side will be the second one. And so because of that, there is not actually going to be like a full kitchen in this one. So instead we're going to be kind of making it more of like a hotel space. So we'll have like a little kitchenette area over here with just some to-go cups and things like that. All right, and then coming straight out of the dining room, you're going to come into what is actually the master bedroom. So this is where my parents stayed and also where my grandma had her room. So this isn't a big room. I think it's like maybe a 10 by 10, but you can fit a queen bed in here. There's a little closet next to the window and then also more storage cabinets and just a closet right here, which the doors are kind of taken off, but they're just behind me. And then coming in here, you have this little bathroom. My brother did just install these shelves, which would be super nice and handy. And then otherwise there's, you know, just a small little bathroom area. All right, so this is the first full Airbnb. So it's a one bed, one bath, living room, dining, and like kitchenette area. And then this is actually the door right here that's going to be put up here and it'll just completely separate the two. It'll be locked, like nobody can go from, from one to the other. Surprise, we're back in the hallway. <laughs> I wanted to show you what it will look like when you walk into the Airbnb. So instead we're gonna go left this time. Now my brother did just put in some new flooring in here. And again, like we have some furniture hanging out, but it's, it may or may not stay in this area. Right away you walk into like another living area. There's a ton of built-ins back there. And again, you have that same kind of fireplace with the brick and just the wood mantle. And then straight off to your left, you have a little bedroom. Now this actually used to be originally the front porch, but they converted it into a bedroom. And this was my older brother's bedroom when we were growing up. So it is very, small like it's actually kind of longer but it's just very small from side to side 
but we can fit a queen bed in here. You have the closet, again, you have some built-ins. And then coming back out, you walk right into the kitchen. Now, months and months ago, my brother and mom actually painted the cabinets, so this might look familiar to you. This is the pebble color that we've painted all over my house and the bright white from Beyond Paint that we painted the other Airbnb cabinets. So this is how the kitchen is looking. She found a beautiful table. This is like $30. So this will be their little dining area, the kitchen, and then you have a really nice pantry right here. And then coming out of the kitchen is back into that little hallway that kind of meets up with the other Airbnb and that's where you can go into the bathroom. It's just a little bathroom with a tub and shower combo and the toilet is behind the wall. So anyway, that is kind of the overview of the downstairs area. I think it has some challenges, but I think it'll turn out incredible. Oh, and my mom and brother actually had like a few months ago painted all of the walls. I believe it's just Alabaster by Sherwin-Williams. So everything was a little bit more yellow before and then they painted it like that really pretty off-white color. So that's gonna be nice. We won't have to paint walls at least. Let me take you upstairs and I'll kind of show you a little quick overview of that. But upstairs will mostly just be in the next video. This video is gonna be a lot of like prep and working on downstairs. But I think later today we're gonna go to different thrift stores. We're just gonna kind of be gathering things because we probably have about two days allotted into like prep and then we have to get going. I think it's gonna be so, so cute. Let me take you upstairs and then we'll go thrifting. All right, once again, we're in the hallway and we're just gonna start heading up the stairs to the apartment and how gorgeous is like all of this. It's just, it's so pretty when you can really appreciate <laughs> the squeakies. The squeaky stairs and you can really appreciate like all the architecture and just the old things all right so right when you walk in the front door off to the right is going to be the bedroom but it's as you can see like a studio because there's no door they actually used to have a doorway here but it was so tiny so they ended up kind of cutting that back but it is going to you know just keep us on our toes and make things a little interesting in here this is going to give you the best view of the living kitchen and dining area so as you can tell like there's not going to be a lot of room for much so i think we're more going to have like a sitting slash eating area the kitchen i'm going to end up painting these cabinets with beyond paint adding hardware all that kind of stuff and my brother has done a few things he already went ahead and changed out this faucet for something just a little nicer a little bit more modern it was just kind of a basic faucet before and then this is the funkiest part is this little bathroom so you can see like the ceiling actually is slanted because of the roof line and so you actually have to like sit to take a either a bath or sit and take a shower and then he had ripped out all the old tile and then he also changed out the sink because before it was just a corner sink it was just very awkward and then this nice shelf and then added in these floating shelves, which is awesome. And then you also have some cubbies in there. So there's gonna be a lot to do in here still, but some of the work has already been done, which is super nice. You guys will not really see anything else of the upstairs apartment makeover until the next video. But in this video, we will be doing prep work and things like that for that makeover. So you'll see a little sneak peek, but definitely stay tuned. Make sure you're subscribed to see that video because I just think that apartment's gonna be so cute. I know it's a little hard to believe now because it's kind of like awkward and tiny and like the bathroom and all the stuff, but that transformation is gonna be incredible. In my mind, it's already so good. So anyway, let's go thrifting.
It's a new day and my mom and I went thrifting. We got kicked out of like three thrift stores because we would stay until they were closing. And then it's like, all right, we gotta go to the next one. Closed, go to the next one, closed. But we got so many pieces. We even got a couple furniture pieces, lots of decor because there's lots of like shelving and things like that that we'll need to style a few pieces just to make it feel homey. Not overdone, but just very simple. Upstairs, there's like not really room for a couch and a table so instead we're gonna do like a little sitting area and so i ordered some chairs from walmart but we can't find a table that will be like small enough but big enough if that makes sense so we're actually gonna go ahead and build at least one of the chairs so we can like sit on it and see how it is and see just exactly like what we need for the table i actually want to build the sideboard because that's gonna go over here as kind of like a kitchenette area. That box arrived very damaged, like kind of open. And we're up in Montana, it takes a little bit longer to get things from Amazon and wherever shipped here. And so we're kind of running out of time if something were to be missing from that. So I wanna get that built, but we just weren't able to bring it over today. It's so, so heavy. And so I'm gonna wait until my brother gets back in town tomorrow and then hopefully we can bring that over and get that built. And then also we're gonna end up switching the couches because the couches that we have, I think they're gonna end up working better in the opposite living room. So let's do this. Well, I measured things and I was like, it was kind of iffy, but I knew I could use the chairs down here and that's what we're gonna end up doing. I'm gonna try to actually use one of them up there, but it won't be like a little sitting area. It'll be more just like a comfy chair in the corner because there's absolutely just not gonna be enough room for both chairs and like a tiny little table. It's just a little too squishy you don't want to do that up there so i'm glad that we tested that out it's always fun when you're on a budget and you're on a time crunch and you're in like different awkward spaces and kind of trying to do some unique things it's it just makes things interesting but once it's done i just i love it and honestly i love the process too so since those chairs won't fit the upstairs we finished out day two with a scavenger hunt to find another option for this little apartment we kept an open mind and we went to furniture stores and gosh they were pricey but we also went to tj maxx and completely lucked out and i cannot wait to show you how these chairs fit and look when i style them in the apartment in next week's video you So I try to not buy many detail items like decor until the very end of the makeover process aside from when I'm thrifting because you know you gotta jump on those items. But I found that if you buy those extras too early you may have to return a lot and that's just because things shift and your needs change throughout the makeover process when you're kind of having to pivot. So I try to save that for later. But if I do get decor early I always try to go for versatile and neutral items. <laughs> All 
right, we are on day three. Now granted, these days have been a lot of running, a lot of gathering things. So we haven't like fully, fully started on the makeover, but we've just been busy this whole time. And excuse my voice, I've not felt the best and my throat has just been so sore, but we're going through it because I only have like a week here. So we just need to rush things and, and get stuff done. We did swing by TJ Maxx last night and we found some chairs that are a little bit smaller in their footprint. I'm gonna go ahead and bring those upstairs. Hopefully they fit. And then we're gonna start actually kind of like building some things and reorganizing down here because tomorrow we're really gonna start the full makeover upstairs. So we have a lot to get done and we're having a late start again just because we've been running around doing all the things. All right, I think these ones are gonna work. So that big, beautiful one right here, this one is gonna end up going downstairs, which is fine. It's super versatile, super, super pretty. So. It'll work good downstairs. I just have to get it down the stairs and that's gonna be the worst part of it. such a champ and such a huge help all week long. She jumped in anywhere she could to help and she just did so much. Now, I honestly feel like I kind of bit off more than I could chew during this week in thinking that I can completely transform three different spaces, but I will absolutely bend over backwards for my mom and just do anything to help her. Swapping the couches made a huge difference in the living rooms. So just a reminder, if you're struggling in your home, changing up furniture can be a huge impact. And both of these couches were actually found on Facebook Marketplace for I believe under $200 each. So it doesn't have to break the bank. So this is the sideboard, buffet, whatever you want to call it, that came from Amazon, but the box is all torn up like on the side whenever it was delivered. So I'm going to go ahead and build it now, fingers crossed. It's not damaged and we can use it in here as like the kitchenette area. If not, then we're going to have to pivot like we always do. <laughs> so fingers crossed. Alrighty, 
it's a new day. I've lost track of the days. It's just been a blur. We've been working upstairs for the past couple days and it's very slowly but surely coming together up there. But today we're actually gonna focus down on the main level. Maybe we'll start in the bedroom and just kind of work our way back. So in here, I got this beautiful rug actually from Ross. So it was like $80, I believe. And then we did get some beds. So we did order those new. We also got this headboard and footboard. So like a bed frame from basic marketplace. There's still more that we need to get from this room. Like I think we're actually going to put a dresser in this closet area and leave the doors off. It'll make the bedroom feel a lot larger than it is and keep it more open. But we're going to kind of create like a little vanity dressing area right here. And then we'll move into the rest of the house. Over here on that buffet that's where we're gonna have like a little coffee station almost like a continental breakfast or like a hotel room I guess and then over here we got this it's technically a sewing table it's broken so we got it for like $12 this is gonna hold the microwave we're gonna put it right here it's so cute I think it's gonna turn out really awesome it's just we got to get a little a little bit creative in this space we are going to have bottled water or like a water filter, I guess. Basically, it's just going to be this water dispenser. And then we also have a little mini fridge. It's very cute. It's kind of like a retro vintage looking one and it'll just be part of the kitchenette. We'll kind of play around with that area a little bit more once I get that shelf put up. But we ended up taking that beautiful chair that was intended for upstairs. We have two of them and we got different ones for up there. So this one we ended up bringing over to the other living room just to kind of see how it would work. And so since I have to build another one, I'm just going to build this other one for over here. So we'll build that and then kind of reorganize the living space. I need to get the sticker <laughs> stickiness stuff off of this, but this was actually from Goodwill for $20. And we do have a light rug coming in here, which will be good to like kind of lighten up the space. But this is cool because it's glass, but then it has the wood accents down below. And so it will kind of match with everything, but it also won't feel very heavy in this space because there is a lot of dark colors and a lot of dark wood. This is just gonna help kind of Keep everything feeling a little bit lighter. I remember when my mother told me the best things they don't come easy. I had no idea how real that was. She said, don't stop dreaming. You got to keep believing it will all be worth it one day. Oh, 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 oh. I can't believe I made it. A furniture flip for me is often more intense than this, but sometimes you can just quickly elevate a simple furniture piece with new hardware or even just spray painting the existing hardware like I'm doing on these cute but super simple nightstands. Alrighty, it is a new day. I feel like I've been running around with my head chopped off. It's just been very, very busy. Like wake up, get ready, get right to work. We've been kind of bouncing around this side, the other side, <laughs> upstairs, just all over the place. We've been so busy, but today we are really close actually to the end of time. <laughs> at least that I have in Montana. So we are getting into the time crunch and we have a lot done, but it still feels like we have so much to do. So I'm looking at my list on this side. <laughs> then on the other side, we're calling that apartment B. <laughs> so we have like a lot of things, but these things, they're not like big furniture pieces, but they're actually the things that are really gonna kind of make this space come to life and feel like, I see, I see how this is gonna turn out. So I'm really excited for today, but we have a ton of stuff and we have been running around like crazy. So we better get going with this.
On the nightstands, we're gonna put these little lamps. They're actually brand new. They're like the Target brand, but she found them on Facebook Marketplace. No more than 20, but maybe $15. For, both of, for both of them? Yeah. We also found this shelf that my brother is hanging up from a local furniture thrift store and it was only $10, but I really wanted to add a shelf in here just to style some decor and make it feel cozy. And it also will help to bring your eye up on this blank wall. So while he was hanging that up, I worked on the curtains. All right, so we have the little dressing area done in here, so we're not going to be putting closet doors on or anything. If we had more time, I think it would actually be so cute to do some wallpaper kind of behind the mirror and behind the dresser and everything, but for now we're just going to leave it because there's no time. But now we're going to go ahead back into like the living room area and just do a bunch of little projects to kind of pull things together. Shadows way too long. You always thought that you were weak, but babe, you're wrong. Okay, so since this side of the house does not have an official kitchen, we're making like a kitchenette, kind of like you would have at a hotel. So we'll have a Keurig machine for single serve coffee. We will have a microwave, but that will be on that sewing table over there in that corner, just to kind of not crowd the space. I'm gonna go ahead and start setting everything up here. And then up on the shelf, we're just gonna have some decor to kind of bring your eye up a little bit. Inside of the doors and drawers, we'll have extra things that we need. So like extra little utensils, little tea packets, or maybe some oatmeal packets, things like that, that they could just make for themselves here. So we'll have all of that kind of organized in this area later on. But for now, we're gonna style the top. So I still have more to do on that buffet area, but do you wanna see some of the decor we got? This is going to go for this side, the other side, and upstairs in that little apartment. Most of it was thrifted. Some things I will still be like flipping and refinishing, but some of them are just perfect as they are. Like this little bowl was a couple of dollars from the thrift store. It's like a little like boutique thrift store, but this was actually half off. So it was like $3 one of those little like trinkety things. Anyway, I'm just gonna kind of start gathering all of our stuff onto this table in here in the kitchen and then we'll kind of start bringing things over. All right, so this is all of our decor that we've kind of been collecting. My mom's been collecting some and then we got a bunch when we were here. 90% was from the thrift store. And be sure to ask, especially when you go to different thrift stores, because a lot of them have different rules. Like the green sticker is half off today or the yellow sticker is half off. So we got like an even better deal on a majority of this stuff. So you can just get like so much for so little when you thrift. This we're actually gonna put a different photo in here and it'll say something to the effects of additional items or additional silverware and things are down below in the dresser just so that people aren't having to search for it. But this was from Goodwill for like $2.
If there is a feature in your home that you don't love, sometimes you really can't distract from it because it might be something really large like your floors. If it's something super prominent like this blue carpet, there won't be any distracting from it. So instead, when you embrace it and kind of lean into it, it actually ends up making the whole space feel very intentional and it almost just draws attention away to other items. So for example, I'm adding in blue throughout this space whether it's in decor or throw pillows. And because the blue is a commonality in the room, your eye almost doesn't seem to notice the blue carpet as much. I did the same thing in the last apartment makeover up here in Montana. It had very orange wood floors that was not in the budget or time frame to change. So we leaned into it. And by the end, you really didn't even notice those floors. was another Facebook marketplace find. It's still currently in Target. So it's a threshold brand, normally $90. I believe we got it for 80. Super good finds. This was a really, really late night, and I don't remember how late my mom and I were here this night, but it was at least 11 o'clock or midnight, but we spent some time adding some decor to the walls and also in the wood shelves with the glass doors. This entire week was so tiring, but honestly, although we had zero downtime this week, it was such a huge blessing to spend every moment of it together with my mom. So the next day, we mostly worked upstairs, but we did make some early morning thrift store runs first when we realized that we indeed did not have enough decor for all that beautiful shelving. So later on in the evening, when we got done with what we could upstairs, we came downstairs to the main part of the house and I started styling the new to us decor, including some thrifted hardcover books. Now, a trick for styling books on a budget is to go to a thrift store and open up the dust covers of the books and pick out some sizes and colors that you like cookbooks are always a fun one or novels and then when you find ones that work for your space i prefer to stack them in sets of three or you can lay them down and place something small on top or you can even just set them up straight but just kind of play around with it and seriously you guys these other thrift store finds were just so stunning i was so incredibly happy with all the things that we found mm -hmm.
These chairs were actually my mom's and the chairs that I grew up with during my entire childhood. They are super sturdy, but also very worn. So she finally got a new set of chairs about a year ago and she just still had these at her house. So we decided to go ahead and paint them and give them some new life for apartment B's kitchen table. Then while Jacob was working on those, I went on to Etsy and found some vintage inspired digital download prints and then just got those ordered from Walgreens to be picked up within the hour. And these are going to go in various empty frames that we have around the house. At this point, my mom and brother and I were just racing the clock. I only had a few hours left until I needed to head to the airport and none of the apartments were completed. So we all just kind of bounced around from task to task and just helped each other wherever we could. It was definitely a mad dash to the finish line, but it was all worth it. While the paint dried, I went in to set up the sideboard coffee bar station, and this will help my mom's guests have everything they need for coffee, tea, oatmeal, really anything that can be made with hot water or a microwave. So here we are including some napkins, stir sticks, sugar packets, to-go cups, and lids along with some K-cups. Now I don't really drink coffee, so I don't know the best ones to get, but we got these to start. And then also some individual creamer cups. Oh, and we added in some assorted tea packets. I'm a tea girly, so I love most all herbal teas. Then inside the top drawer, she is supplying some oatmeal packets and popcorn along with a few snacks. In her other Airbnb, she usually offers some additional ones, but this is just what we brought over today. And then in the middle section, she's planning to add some disposable utensils since there won't be a kitchen sink to wash dishes over here and she's also going to include some paper plates and bowls in the cabinets but let me know if there's other items that you see we don't have here that would be something that you would love to see included if you were staying in an airbnb like this and if you guys have some good suggestions i'll definitely pass those along to my mom All right, I have 20 minutes before I have to leave for the airport, but we finished. We finished upstairs, we finished side A, we finished side B. My brother just kind of propped that door up, but he's gonna install that later when I leave. They do have a few more things to get done, like adding in, you know, silverware and some plates and dishes and pots and pans and things like that. My mom actually has almost all of that stuff over at her house. We just didn't get around to bringing it over, but everything else is set up and I'm so happy, I just love it. So let me show you what it looks like. Hey, do you remember the before? It feels impossible that it could have changed so much in just a week, but it really just does not feel like the same place anymore. So starting out in the living room, we added the corner sectional from Facebook Marketplace and styled it with some gorgeous blue throw pillows to tie in with the flooring. Now there was supposed to be a square rug under here that matches the dining room rug, but it got delayed in shipping. So just imagine it's there to ground the furniture and kind of lighten the space. Now for added function, we utilized a glass coffee table and a faux marble end table and we added additional seating with this beautiful boucle chair and to the right of the fireplace and tv i set a tall faux plant to add life and height to the living room now on to the dining room and kitchenette area this space is one 
that I just love to pieces. We of course placed a round table under the light with a large round rug underneath and then to make this Airbnb function without a kitchen, we added a gorgeous black side table with gold accents, along with a vintage looking mini fridge, a water cooler, and all the coffee things. And we didn't forget about the microwave sitting on the other side of the bay window, which we styled with a blue chair from my mom's house. And we did not overlook making this space have personality and feel cozy. So to help achieve that, we added an arch mirror. We thrifted lots of amazing decor and flipped a few pieces, as well as adding a shelf above the side sideboard to add interest and height. Moving right into the bedroom, oh how I love this bedroom. First thing we did was add a thrifted bed frame and instead of putting the mirrored closet doors back on, we instead left the room wide open and made it feel bigger and we created a dressing area with a vintage dresser and a gold round mirror on top and that was placed in the existing closet nook and taking away a closet really wasn't a big deal because there's actually another small closet in this bedroom along with cabinets. Then we finish things off in here with a beautiful picture above the bed along with a basket wall on the opposite side and that added lots of texture and softened up the space. Now unfortunately we did not get to either of the downstairs bathrooms during this week but overall this home just turned out incredible and extremely functional and I couldn't be happier with it. Now moving right on over to apartment B, let's start in the kitchen. I know y'all did not see the kitchen before it was painted but that alone changed the space immensely but it still felt Kind of awkward because of the fridge and window placement so we went ahead and thrifted a round table for $30 yes $30 for this and placed that between the counter and fridge and then we flipped my mom's old dining chairs by painting them a beautiful creamy off-white and all of a sudden this kitchen feels cohesive and has a beautiful flow to it then walking right out of the kitchen and into the living room we added another one of those gorgeous oversized chairs along with a thrifted couch and rug and finished off the furniture with, you guessed it, more secondhand items like this coffee table for I believe $20 along with another end table and two floor lamps to give the space more lighting. Then we elevated the space even more by changing out the curtains and giving it more height and decorating the built-in shelves with some more vintage and thrifted decor. Oh, and we mounted a TV above the fireplace in here as well. Finally, you move right into that small little bedroom. Remember this used to be a porch once upon a time, but now it's the cutest little bedroom with a large art piece that draws your eye up above the bed. And on the other end of the bedroom, you now have a custom made desk thanks to my brother. And very soon they will have the added function of a full length mirror. So now that you've seen it, let me know which apartment is your favorite, apartment A or apartment B. And also I'd love to hear what was your favorite thing that I shared in this Airbnb home makeover. Don't forget to come back next Monday for a brand new small apartment makeover. I cannot wait to show you that one. It's really wild to see how different that small old apartment is now. You will absolutely not believe it's the same space. Be sure to subscribe if you're new and I will see you soon. Okay, bye!